Do I need to come over? I have that feeling. Huh. What happened? Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it is, is Kay. Where are we? Hello, hello, hello. All right, so it's AJ. Ooh, AJ. I'm gonna just call you that. AJ22, I'm gonna pull you cards right quickly and I'm gonna get my aunt. But there should be. Oh, excuse me. You got a four and two sixes. I saw you give me quite a bit, so I'm gonna make sure all this is just sliding in. Oh, you're at work? Getting them melons out there? Mmm, mmm, mmm. That was thank a little bit. Just a little. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay, AJ. What happened? All right, AJ. For real? <sighs> okay, all this negative self-talk, you need to like stop that for a minute and be proud of yourself. You have overcome a lot of shit. You've been through a lot of shit that not a lot of people could handle, okay? It is time for you to give yourself that recognition. It is time for you to begin to give yourself that personal assessment into saying, I am capable of this. I am good enough. I am loved because it is causing your fears to feed. And remember, and I love to say this because it's the truth, helping others fight their demons may awaken yours. Doing that right now and having doing that in the past, it has caused a lot of blocks and it may have woken a few of yours. So right now would be a really, really good time to set boundaries. Remind yourself of what you were capable of doing. Remind yourself that you are good enough. Reminding yourself of these things because you are capable of doing these things. It's just you need to get back in tune with yourself and remind yourself of that, okay? Quit kicking your own ass. Do what you can. I can't say quit. I can't say stop. Work on work on you to, to you, like for you, not for anybody else, not for an ex or a current relationship, you gotta do it for you, nobody else, or it's not gonna work. Alrighty, Missy. Miss Katie. Ooh. These just fell out while I was shuffling the deck. Alright, Kate. These just fell out, so I'm gonna use that as like the whole thing there for the message of this. You got a three, two, and a seven. All right. The moral, and also like the topic. Where's grandma? Okay, I'll ask that in a minute. Okay. Um. Oh, so hmm, your indecisiveness. Your indecisiveness into saying no. Your indecisiveness into saying, is it worth it? The indeci anything that is causing you to question what you are going through right now, that is what this is regarding, okay? All right, let's do this. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. So you got a last quarter moon in Cancer, a last quarter moon in Scorpio, and then a full moon in Sagittarius. Breathe. Breathe? It is time to breathe because this is restricting it. All of this compression and like forcing you to stay down and not, not settle down is causing you to roll around. It's not allowing you to be stable. Whatever it is that you have to let go of, it is time for you to be yourself 1 million percent and nobody else, not for anybody else, strictly for you. And remember this, like remember the whole, the whole fucking thing of this, okay? Like the whole reason, what made you want to start what caused this spark? What made you want to make the life decisions that you have now and that you have in the past, okay? Beating yourself up over something somebody else did will not benefit you. It is only... 
it is only going to cause more problems, okay? It's actually gonna cause a hell of a lot more problems. All righty. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hmm. Ooh, what are the different color paper cranes? So the, the gold crane is for past lives. The pink crane is for love pulls. And then a blue, or actually just any other color of crane besides pink and gold is a general reading. Alrighty. Hmm. Nash, whatever it is that you're going through right now that is causing you to uh, lose focus is it needs some addressing, okay? Breathe through it, whatever is causing you to get stressed out, whatever it is that you need to work on today. Please set time aside for yourself, okay? Castro! Alrighty. And then I'm pretty sure that said said Jordan. I'm gonna do this right quickly. Jordan, you need to lighten up and stop looking at the brightest side of things. I threw a lamp at someone once. It stayed plugged in. And I told them to lighten the fuck up and guess what happened? They did instantly. Hmm. <laughs> it was great. I'm not joking like that actually happened. All right, Missy, where did you go? Thank you, thank you. Where are we? I know, I know you said, I know you said something about trying to change the color of it. I don't know where you went, but, cause we got Castro and then we got, yes, then past life. Okay, so Missy, which one were you wanting? Cause I saw the cranes. Which ones were you wanting? Just curious. Because they were both gold. They were both gold. Are you wanting like a mixture reading of like a... <laughs> a general? Okay. Alright, miss. And then we'll be getting to Castro and then Tyler. Okay, miss. Mmm. You got a seven, a three, and an eight. Okay, miss and miss, let's do this. Good. Oh, honey, make this house of, you gotta raise your voice. You have got to say something. You can't, you can, uh, you've gotten to the point where you can no longer stay quiet. If you stay quiet right now, it ain't gonna be very pretty, okay? It's not gonna be very pretty. It is not going to be a good thing, right? Not everybody is a good everybody. You are not required to forgive anyone for shit. Okay, you do not have to forgive anyone if you do not want to. Imagine building your dream house. I know I say it all the time, but it it's the truth. Imagine building up your dream house and then plowing it over. Okay? Plowing it over and ruining it, okay? You don't have to forgive anyone for their mistakes. If they fucked you over, honey, they fucked you over. It's time to just accept that some people just don't change. Forgive yourself for allowing whoever this or they are to do this again. But please, please keep yourself in mind that, hey, you're good enough to have the best of the best. Okay? Anybody who tries to tell you...